Hello and welcome to another Betfred Sports video right here in the Quest Media Network studio. Peter, we usually discuss the Premier League results from the weekend to begin the sports video, but this week there's only one topic to talk about and it's the Grand Prix, the Abu Dhabi Grand Prix this coming Sunday. It's winner take all, Lewis Hamilton, Max Verstappen, it's going to be a cracker. Well, it is. Um, I think Grand Prix has taken a back seat in many people's eyes with the uh, procession of um, Lewis Hamilton. Um, seven on the bounce effectively um he's been dominating affairs and it has lost some of its appeal but what a race that was on sunday mm. i mean and the rivalry between the two groups now the um, constructors and also the drivers at each other's throats yeah. all setting up for a fantastic finale in uh, abu dhabi on sunday as you say mm. uh, bet fred of uh, lewis hamilton two to five favorites the spapping he's um seven to four uh, because we think that the um, experience of Lewis Hamilton will come through right. um, and if he does win it'll be his eighth record breaking eighth uh, drivers championship. I mean for someone who's not particularly interested in F1 this is the kind of clash where it will get you involved in it, it could spark an interest in it. I mean, for myself personally, I've never really been interested in it. I've always thought it's more to do with the car than the driver. But when you've got this animosity between two people, it makes it all the more interesting. But it certainly does. You think football um, laws are complicated. You want to try the Grand Prix rules and regulations. On Sunday, for instance, um, Verstappen was accused of... Um, um, some misdemeanour, which meant that he was losing 10 points and he had to concede first place mm. to Hamilton and so he um, slowed down put brakes on but Hamilton hadn't been told so he's wondering what's going on in front of him uh, with him keep braking yeah. um, and then he was told eventually you have to go past him but it's when you go past him uh, is a key factor because on those tracks they all know certain places to overtake mm. so he thought he was delaying it so he couldn't go past him at that, that particular point yeah. so there's all this going on behind the scenes you have to be some kind of uh, petrol head to understand it yeah. uh, I think mean, that's the key word it petrol <laughs> that's what they call them yep. like I said Dan it's got all the ingredients to be a cracker but just taking a look at Lewis Hamilton for the moment it's changed in terms of sports personality of the year. He's in the running for it. Tom Daly, the diver, is 14 to 1. And Emma, and Emma Raducana, she's still the outright favourite. Um, she's 1 to 16. Mm. So it is looking highly likely that she'll win it um, on December the 19th. But Hamilton could change all that with a good victory um, at, the, at the weekend, as we say, in Abu Dhabi. Yeah. Um, he could come piling through. But I doubt he's going to overtake um, Emma Raducani to yeah. be favourite. Well, as Pete said then, the BBC Sports Personality of the Year set for December 19th. Now, Peter, we will take a look at the Premier League results from the weekend because both United and City won. United won no victory against Crystal Palace on Sunday and it was that man, Fred. Would you believe it? Fred coming up with an absolute scream, a potentially goal of the season. What a goal, fair play. Well, I mean, he is the sort of player uh, that the new manager uh, will really appreciate. He Beavers around all over the pitch, he gets stuck in, he wins the ball back yeah. um, and the, the, this talk that under his um, regime, he wants the ball won back after 10 seconds yeah. because that is the key time uh, when you can really make an impact. Mm. If you let the other team control the ball for a while and start moving it around as per City are often famous for now, then um, you lose control of the uh, of the situation. So mm. he's looking to get the ball back. I knew better to do that than Fred. And then he comes up with a goal. And he yeah. had to check that it was a right-footed shot as well um, to, to score. United are now, uh, they've been cut by Bet Fred for the title again. For remember, they were 5-1 to one at the start of the season. Then they drifted out 100-1, to 125-1. to one. Now they're back in at 80-1 to one for the title. People just just see Manchester United as the team that they either most team most uh, neutrals love, mm. uh, but there are obviously rivals around here who, who despise them. That City fans particularly, <laughs> but they are um, the most popular team to bet on um, in, in terms of the title race, yeah. and they're eighty to one now to come piling through, um, and. The, 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 I'll get the odds eventually for the top four finish, but United are right up there in the yeah. favour for a top four finish now for that fourth slot behind City, Liverpool, and Chelsea. Betfred have um, City eight to thirteen for the title now. Um, now they've gone top for the first time this season. Liverpool eleven to four, Chelsea nine to two. As United, as I say, eighty to one, and then we're into uh, Tottenham one hundred and twenty-five to one. West Ham. 
uh, team at the moment, 150 to 1, and Arsenal, uh, 200 to 1. Well, could it be a bit of Ralph Rangnick magic? He's coming certainly at the right time, just before a load of Christmas fixtures. Always a busy period of the season. For me personally, I love it. Can't get enough of it. But United's next fixture comes in the Champions League on Wednesday night. They're hosting young boys. Peter, tell us a bit about these odds. Well, United are 2-5 to five to win again in the Champions League. Um, and we've got Ronaldo, 11-4 to four to score first. Cavani, he's a bit out of the pitch at the moment, he's 10 to 3. Greenwood and Rashford, 9 to 2. I can see Greenwood starting in that game. Um, they'll like Greenwood, uh, Ragnit will, because he's young, enthusiastic, and will be looking to make an impact. So I see him starting. He's a, a sound bet there at 9 to 2 to score the first goal. Uh, Bruno is 5 to 1. Martial, another player who's out of the picture. Uh, he's 11 to, four, 11 to 2 so you can see that he's going to be using some of these players now yeah. to have a, a good look at him because he's only got 6 months in the job and there isn't a better opportunity than seeing how to go against young boys on Wednesday at uh, Old Trafford Yeah that's absolutely right and 24 hours earlier Manchester City travelled to Leipzig but just looking at their Premier League result from Saturday they made the journey to Vicarage Road Watford beat them 3-1 and it was that man Bernardo Silva is on absolute fire two fantastic goals again and you know, you're looking at the way he's playing at the moment. Could he be the next Ballon d'Or winner? Well, uh, Pat Guardiola would probably vote for him. He, he says that he's the best player in the land at the moment. I think that's a, probably a stretch too much when you think of uh, how Mo Salah's going at Liverpool. Mm. But um, that victory has catapulted Watford right back down into the uh, relegation odds at Betfred. Um, Brentford um, nine to two um, to um, avoid the drop. Leeds, they've um, uh, shortened out 4-1. to one. Um, Newcastle, after their first victory, 5-6. to six. And then the, uh, they're the same as Burnley. So we do think it'll be Norwich and Watford who get relegated at this day. Or oh, the money is saying mm. that anyway. Uh, Betfred have Norwich 2-9 to nine still to get relegated. Watford 4-5. to five. And then, as I say, we've got Burnley and Newcastle next up. Uh, and then for the Leipzig game that, um, for City... On um, Tuesday night, uh, Leipzig are twelve to five. City are evens. Um, they've already qualified, of course. Yeah, excellent stuff. Well, as Peter just said, there, Leipzig v City is a dead rubber. So a good opportunity for Pep Guardiola to rotate his squad and maybe give some unknown players uh, their chance on the pitch. Well, we'll take a look now. At I'm a celebrity. Get me out of here. It's been going for a few weeks now, minus that uh, few day cancellation due to the recent storms. Peter, what else looking like for this? Well, Betfred have David Ginola um, as a favourite at five to four. Um, Frankie Bridge, and he's been favourite for some time now. Frankie Bridge is coming in now at seven to two. Uh, Danny Miller of uh, Emmerdale fame, uh, twenty-one to five, and Simon Gregson in the Battle of the Soaps, uh, Coronation Street, of course, uh, seven to one. So it's all getting quite interesting now at the top of that um, betting, and that is the most popular bet. Um, for people who don't uh, particularly like sport and want to mm. bet on other matters um, and that is the most popular TV bet at the moment yeah. on the Slumberton. Well certainly entertaining to say the least but on Saturday night as well it's always strictly come dancing. I'm loving that personally and as you can see right now here are the latest odds for that competition. So just to recap, coming up this week in the Champions League on Tuesday night, Manchester City are travelling to Leipzig and on Wednesday night, Manchester United are hosting Young Boys at Old Trafford. And if you do fancy a pun on any of them fixtures or any other event, Betfred stores are now open, but you can also bet online and via their app.